double decker that I'm sure everyone sees uh, driving around Toronto. From the streets to the kitchen table, a Niagara region teen has recreated the iconic Go buses we see driving around town in the form of Lego. It's something he's been doing for years and he's gotten pretty good. Ethan, how long did it take you to build this? About a couple hours. <laughs> And is that a couple hours per bus? Because we have a, a few buses now here. Per bus. Where do you get the the design from? Do you just kind of go off pictures or do you go and see so a bus? I um, will take photos of the buses and then I will study them. He then uses a program that allows him to build the buses virtually first and then order many of the missing pieces. Exactly, yeah. But he says most of what he needs is usually in his collection. That's been growing for years. Like windows so the, buses. That's the windows. His last project included not just the buses, but also a Go bus terminal, taking a month to build and complete with weather shelters, presto machines, destination boards, and passengers. But since then, he's taken that project apart to make way for his next one, New Union Station, underway now. Yeah, so this is just a kind of a rough of what it's gonna look like. And while Ethan says the project is fun, there's another reason for all the effort. It's also a tribute to his late grandfather, Garnet, or Garney, who drove buses for Go for 42 years. He used to take me to work uh, when he when he could, so I have some memories with that. This is his um, uniform that he wore every day to work. Are these the kind of buses that your granddad would have driven? Drove, yeah, he yeah. drove these ones. Are these the ones that he would bring you on? Yeah. As a, as a kid going on a go bus with your grandfather, like what was that like for you, the kid? It was so special to me, man. Over the years, I, I, I grew relationships with drivers that he drove with every day. Just know he's he's very proud of me. Meanwhile, Ethan's family cheers him on. He even gets a little bit of help from his dad, who he says pitches in with the finishing touches. I'm really proud of him, of what he's be what's become of his Lego. Is it kind of a like nice father son time? Yes, it is. It's always it's always a father son time. But my sister, on the other hand, she does not. She works so much that she uh, <laughs> cannot give me a hand. She's, she always gets annoyed with my stuff being in the way. So. <laughs> Honestly, I've been annoyed with it, but <laughs> honestly, I think what he's doing is so amazing and how he's representing my grandfather. I think it's so awesome. And at the end of the day, I wish I had his talent. Kind of sound like maybe you've gone from the, the annoyed sister to the proud sister. I'm very proud, so proud. How often do you step on these pieces? Not fairly often. The odd time there'll be an, uh, <laughs> one laying around and I step on it and just hurt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> For City News, I'm David Zura.